So one thing that um, I know is a major pain to so many meets from road, especially road races and cross country races is day of entries. So it never fails. You know, you've had this online entry, you post the deadline over and over again, but they show up at the meet wanting to enter either, either some, it's an individual who just missed a deadline or it's a coach telling you how, Oh, I totally left off so-and-so and they need to get them in the race. Their parents are going to be so upset. Whatever it is, there's always a stack of people who are wanting to do it. So what we do most of the time is at the start line, um, we say we're never going to do it, but we always cave in and at the start line, they write down a notepad of paper, what the names are and what team they're on. And then at some point during the meet, we need to go over to the timing booth and we need to give them this list. They need to stop what they're doing. They need to key it. You guys know what I'm talking about. It's just a pain for everybody. So what we have now is a, a day of entry app. So you see this on the main race tab menu. This is day of entry. So here's what this is. Uh, first of all, let's go ahead and click on it. And so what this allows us to do, my recommendation would be at, at the start of the meet, you give your check-in tent a stack of bib numbers, say 50, 100 numbers, however many you think may have day of entries. And so these are the bib numbers that they're allowed to give out. You know, maybe they're, you know, 500 to 550, right? And so then when somebody comes over to register, register for the meet, um, all they got to do is they click new athlete, they put in a name here, and they key this in and they, they grab a bib number. And so we assign this person bib number 501. We're going to put them on on the New York City Stars. So you can put them in the, uh, you know, whatever grade they're in. There you go. And bada bing, bada boom. This is going to give me a, this is something I'm still going to fix. I, I saw this in the last video. So this would actually tell you, confirm for you the bib number and first name. So ignore that. So that athlete has now been created. And you can go on, you can create a next new athlete. Um, and to prove it's been created, um, I, can go, I can go to search by name. So if you want it, and this is actually useful if somebody comes up and says, well, I forget if I entered this person or not. Well, you can also do um, searches. Um, so I've actually entered two John Does. Um, so you can do a search and you can find out if that person has been entered or not. Or if there was a mistake, um, they don't have to go over and bother you and say, oh, I said he was a senior but he's really a junior you know you could actually fix that right here without bothering the timer booth so um you know or if you have a bib number maybe somebody drops a bib number on the ground right and they they turn in the bib number to the booth and you say well i have no idea whose bib number this is type in bib number 45 and all of a sudden you know oh it's astronauts fred berry so uh you know now your announcer can make an announcement say hey we found your bib number kind of thing so this is incredibly powerful tool uh, powerful and simple tool that you can put in the hands of your check intent and uh, make it so they can do stuff without bothering you. Hope you enjoy.